So in this video, we're going to be building a startup idea validator where you can put in some details with respect to your startup ideas. And this can automatically look up web and do some research on websites like Y Combinator and so on and so forth to kind of validate if your idea does have any merit or not. So as you can see, I'm building some set of details here with respect to business model, team traction, idea basics and so on. So I'm going to just put out some dummy details here, but you can see I'm actually putting down a simple product management tool idea and from the business standpoint, video and SEO subscription, a uh, unique value proposition is powered by AI, team and traction, 10 plus years experience in product management AI, and then a bunch of these different details. So initially we are going to be using GPT-40 mini to test how this works. If this works as expected, then we will use the new GPT-4.5 model, which was just launched this morning. So if you head to the chat here in the visual studio code, you can see the agents are doing their job. They are looking up web and figuring out if there is a market for something like this SaaS product ma management tool market size 2023 and so on and so forth. So one of the problems with the agents is that they always think uh, with respect to the data that they've been trained on. So if you want to give them specific years, we may want to add that in the prompt as well. This will enable us to do is ensure that we get like a clear understanding of the year that we want to target. It looks like the agents have done their job. So we have three agents at work, the market analyst, the ecosystem expert, the business strategist and the investment analyst. I'll explain all of these in a little bit, but let's just wait for this flow to complete first. So essentially what will happen now is that the first agent, the market research analyst will do market research with respect to the product we're talking about. Then comes the startup ecosystem expert like this one. What the expert will do is look at the output of the market research analyst and figure out what are the things that it needs to take into consideration. So analyze similar startups, funding patterns and so on. So it will now look up similar startups in this space to find your competitors. So why Combinator Insights, SaaS product management tools and so on. So all of this, they, it will automatically look up on Google. And once it's done, it will pass that data to the business model strategist. Yes. So it has now passed this data to business model strategist whose job is now to evaluate business models, revenue streams and go to market strategies. So as you can see, these are these different agents have different jobs and they are now working one after the other to get things done for you. So someone will do the market research, some agent will just validate your idea. And then there's one more agent whose job is to do investment, startup investment analysis to give us the amount of money you will need to invest in order to build this company. So you can see this agent is running here and it's going to look at things like valuation, benchmark, SaaS startups, valuation, benchmark, SaaS startups, and so on and so forth. So it's going to look at a bunch of these different news articles to figure out the final output. So it did throw an error. I'm going to quickly fix this. And there you have it. We have overall investment attractiveness with a score of seven. And it's talking about key strengths, critical risks, potential valuation range, recommended next steps, specific metrics, and and everything else and you can also download this validation report in case you have a bunch of friends you are working with i'll add the link to the hosted version of this in the chat so you can take a look at that when you have a minute but as as far as the validation goes i think this is actually pretty accurate uh, with respect to what it can do and i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna try it out with the new model that chat gpt just announced or rather open here just announced so i'm gonna do gpt 4.5 and if you look up this model this was the blog itself was updated 4.5 four minutes back. This is honestly very new, but you can look at the performance. This is better than GPT-40. And in fact, it is also better than OpenAI ON and O3 mini in simple QA accuracy. And from the hallucination standpoint, it is lower. The reason why lower is better is because the less it hallucinates, the more accurate the model is. It is weird how bad O3 mini is when it comes to these hallucinations is almost like 80% uh, hallucination here, which is crazy. So for everyday queries, GPT-4.5 is clearly better on a lot of parameters and even for let's say you know just talking uh, for things like help through help through a tough time or identifying a painting or space exploration you can see this is way more human like as opposed to gpt4 over here that said let's try it out in the api because clearly it looks like it's good at you know having more human like you know conversations so let's quickly go ahead and try this out so all we need to do is go into our model here and change this to GPT 4.5 preview and go back to our startup idea validator 
and let's rerun it once i hope i don't lose my data and now i'm gonna run this with the new model i don't know if this is available just yet on crew ai but i'm gonna take a stab at it and see if it's available or you know it's not available note that it does take a lot of time to generate response and it's actually super expensive as opposed to gpt 40 or 40 mini so let me look up pricing here uh there's no clear understanding of pricing let me look up the dollar sign here yep there's no clear understanding of this so i'm gonna just look up models open ai AI. and then in here once you go to models it, it should also show you the pricing for these models so let's look up 4.5 and there you go yeah i'm not really seeing pricing here i'm gonna go to pricing and there you go so 75 dollar uh, for input per 1 million tokens and 150 dollars for output per 1 million tokens this is scary expensive because you compare it with gpt 4 mini this is crazy multiplication right here and i'm not really sure if the final response that we get from this model is really that much different from the response or as compared to the response that we get from let's say o3 mini right here either ways once we have our response ready we'll be able to better judge the model here so again like i said this takes a bit longer as compared to the uh, foro mini model or rather foro model so let's just wait for a few more seconds before we are able to take a look at the output just fyi this is not even completed running so far and you can see the costs are all already like 20 to 30 x of what i spend daily even though when i'm you know running these agents so it's actually super expensive and you know ensure that you keep this in mind as you run this even for testing this becomes super expensive and it's not even completed running it's still running in the back background so super expensive model i don't know how this is justified because foro mini will solve majority of the use cases that you would typically have in mind and to show you exactly where my majority of the spend is you can see this is 0.5 dollars here so far 0.3 dollars here so far and another one 0.2 dollars here so far so the, these models are clearly way more expensive than any of the models that i would typically run even expensive than you know o1 mini and you can actually compare that in the pricing as well you can see 15 dollars for input 1 million input tokens this is almost five times the cost and it's not even a reasoning model this is more a human like model that you can use for a uh, discussion so I don't know what's the logic behind launching this model. I'm sure this is, and I think this is their largest model so far, our largest and best model for chat yet. But it's also way more expensive as opposed to, let's say, the other models that are listed here. And the output is ready. You can see this is not very different from what we had earlier. Even the score is the same as compared to what it was and the output as well is not very different right so i see some 1 million which looks a bit different here the overall feedback with respect to using these models for agent would be pretty negative because end of the day you're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of money um, and get the same amount of results or same kind of results that you would typically get from openai especially if you're doing function calling if you're using it for chat then maybe the model is good if you're using it for agents please don't this is extremely expensive to use as a model and will run your <laughs> credits down to the ground if you continue using this uh, extensively so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one